So you're thinking about moving to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but you're not quite ready to do so, yet you'd still like to have a place down in the area that you can use as a second home, that you can vacation to, that your friends and family can enjoy, and you'd like it to be a place that you can eventually move to full time when you're ready to do so. And you're also hoping that you can maybe rent it out a little bit while you're not using it. This way you can help offset your costs. Well, today I am in one of these units here in Magnolia Place that checks off all of those boxes. We're gonna check it out, we're gonna talk about some of the details and we're gonna get into it right now. Hey, welcome back, and if you're new here, my name is Nick, and on this channel, I talk about things to do here in Myrtle Beach. I give tips and advice about the area, and of course, I talk about the real estate. So if you are thinking about relocating to the area, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and tap the little notification bell while you're at it. This way, you could be the first to know about what's going on here in Myrtle Beach. I get calls every single day from people just like you who are moving to the area. So if you ever have any questions, or if I can help you find home here at the beach, then I would love to chat with you. You can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. So as I mentioned, today we are in Magnolia Place and these condos over here are great to utilize as a second home, as an investment property, or even a primary residence. We're gonna go throughout this unit right now. Um, this one is a two bedroom here. They also have three bedroom units and there are two other communities. There's Magnolia Place and there is Magnolia North. Um, they also have some one bedroom condos as well. And what's cool about this location here is you're really close to everything. Again, you can use these as an investment property. These are one of the only types of condos like this that you can utilize it for a short-term rental. And that allows you to have a lot of flexibility. We're really close to everything that Myrtle Beach has to offer. So we are right down the road from a lot of different tourist attractions, Broadway at the beach, the Grand Prix, the Wax Museum. We are just one and a half to two miles to the beach in a really neat section of the beach called the Golden Mile talked about that in the past before. So that's a part of the beach where there's all single family homes right at the beach. There is public beach access. So it's a really neat part of the beach, nice and quiet, never gets too crazy and crowded there. And you know, if you live here full time, you're right in the center of Myrtle Beach, you're only about 15 to 20 minutes from the airport. Everything that you need to utilize on a daily basis, your grocery stores, all within just a few minute drive. And this unit here is super nice. Golf course there in the back. There's one of the pools here at the complex. There's a bunch of other pools in here as well. You can utilize them all. And between the three different complexes, Magnolia North, Magnolia Place, and Magnolia Point, there's currently like 40 something units on the market. It's a really big complex, so that's not all that uncommon. Um, for the one bedrooms, they're gonna range from like 180 to $200,000. The two bedrooms are gonna average around that $250,000 price point. They're gonna go up to around 300,000. And then for a three bedroom, you could expect to pay anywhere between like 300 up to 380,000, depending on the different complex and what condition it's in. A lot of these do get sold fully furnished, just like this one here, um, with exception of a few pieces in this unit here. Uh, this one is being sold fully furnished. The price on this one is $250,000. If you'd like details on this specific unit, you can check that out in the description below. So I just got to my car and I realized that, that I forgot to film the outro to this video while I was in the unit, but that's okay because I wanted to mention a few more things. First of all, I wanted to distinguish between the three different complexes I just mentioned. I talked about Magnolia Place, which is actually where we just were. I talked about Magnolia North, and I talked about Magnolia Point. Now, though these are all very similar condos, they are all in the same location. They are three separate communities with three separate HOAs and three separate separate sets of rules. So Magnolia Place is actually the oldest complex, then Magnolia North is in the middle, 
and Magnolia Point is the newest. So from the three different condos, you'll see a little bit of variation as they start to get newer. The ones in Magnolia Point, for example, are a little bit bigger. The layout is virtually same, but there's some things that are a little bit different. For example, there in Magnolia Place, the washer and dryer is located in the kitchen. And then in Magnolia Point, they're actually in that second bathroom that is in the middle of the unit. Again, the rules are going to be a little bit different when it comes down to short-term rentals. Generally, you can short-term rent in each of the complexes, but there's some details and nuances with each of them. So if you want to talk about that a little bit further, feel free to reach out. Now, I mentioned the golf course there in the back of the unit really briefly while we we're out on the balcony. That is the Myrtlewood Golf Course, and Myrtlewood actually has two golf courses, the Pine Hills Course and the Palmetto Course. They're both very popular. A lot of people come to the area just to play those. It's actually why these condos here in this complex are so popular for rentals because they're right here on these golf courses. And again, we're so close to the beach and all of the touristy stuff as well. But what's neat about these complexes is they are a very residential focus. So a lot of people actually live here full time as well. It's a lot different than those buildings that are right on the ocean. They're more like hotel rooms. These are more suited to living to full time if you choose to do that as well, which is why they are great to have as a second home, a vacation property for now, and eventually move into in the future. Again, if you would like some more information on this condo we looked at today, you can check out the link down in the description. This one is for sale for $250,000. And if you'd like any more info on any other condo in this complex or any home here in the greater Myrtle Beach area, then feel free to reach out. I would love to help you in any way that I can. As always, you can always use the first link down in the description to schedule a call with me. I want to thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to speaking with you and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.